Hi there, I'm Andrew Brown. Welcome to Real Time Music and Sound with Pure Data. In this video, we're going to be looking at the uh, live coding toolkit for Pure Data. This is part three of a sort of mini series on the live coding toolkit. In order to um, follow along with this um, tutorial, you'll need to have the live coding toolkit installed. You can grab it from the um, GitHub site that you can see the screenshot of there. Uh, when you do so, just make sure that when it's installed, that uh, in the PD preferences under path, that you add the directory or the folder where this particular library is stored on your hard drive to the path for PD so that it can see uh, all of the abstractions that are part of that library. All right, let's get going. In this um, tutorial about the live coding toolkit, we're going to leverage some of PD's low level audio processes and uh, introduce some of the live coding toolkits um, sort of processing audio effects. So let's start. You're gonna get noisy today. Start with noise. Um, and I'm going to use that as a modulation source. Um, and then I'm going to add it to the frequency so it's going to be a frequency modulation source and it's going to add to the frequency of a phaser object. Um, phaser is unipolar so I'm just going to um, make sure that we change that input times 2 minus 1 we'll change it into a bipolar function so that's all standard PD so far and we're going to introduce uh, some of the live coding toolkit objects first one we're going to look at is panner which is a stereo panner um, then we're going to go from that into um, an echo which is kind of a delay I'm going to make it a thousand milli one second delay and that's the delay level and this is the delay feedback all between zero and one and from there we're going to go to an outlet and give it some gain all right we immediately have some interesting noisy sounds So just the panner takes a mono input and sends it to stereo, so just making sure that that's uh, done. Um, the echo passes through the original plot, adds some delays, uh, and the output is in stereo, um, but I've got that incorrectly wired up. So it's got to come out of the other side of the echo because that's also a stereo device. Come on. Thank you. Uh, and the out object also has um, a bit of reverb on it as well as being uh, a volume control. All right, so uh, that's our basic kind of noise operator. Now we're going to um, mess with that and modulate it and automate it in various ways. So let's maybe start at the top. Um, I'm going to actually start with a number box and then I'm going to use a MIDI to frequency to scale that number and um, just put a number box there as well so you can see what that is and we'll plug that into there so that's going to be a change in our amplitude As you hear, it just gets noisier and noisier, not unsurprisingly, the more we increase that modulation. Um, so we kind of automate that, just giving yourself a bit more space at the top. So we'll use some of the live coding toolkit um, objects to do that. Um, start with a toggle that goes into the tempo. So this will give us a sort of a regular clock. <laughs> 
and then out of that we'll go into um, a random now the random is going to we're going to start with a center uh, number value of 20 this is going to be for pictures midi pictures which are going to go in here we're going to vary by up to 20 steps um, each time as well and we're going to put a minimum of zero and a maximum of 127 so we stay within that um, uh, uh, mini control change range for our or pitch range rather for our mini to frequency object now you'll see there's three outlets on the rand objects um, i'm going to take the last one the last one is um, a random walk so we'll start at this value um, and it will random walk um, as it, between 0 and 127 so you can see that starting off now and that's going to automate our noisy signal all very nice <laughs> and so let's duplicate um, that control process and we will also so we've got another one of these controls we're going to it's independent randomly walking um, and we'll get that one to control the pitch of our phaser and we can hear the pitch kicking in as it goes up and down in fact one thing we might do there um, so let's just undo that. We might add in a line um, object so that we can glide between those pictures instead of jumping between them. So take the input, give it a time to glide. There's a gliding in between them as we go. Uh, the other thing we might do is control this panner as well. Uh, for that, I might use a periodic um, function from the live to coding toolkit. Um, start with a number of steps for the periodic. Uh, so it's going to go over 50 steps. We're going to have a center frequency of 0 0.5 and we're going to have a range of 0 0.5 so it goes between 1 and 0 and 1 uh, then this outlet from the tempo has um, numbers that come out of it so that's going to be necessary for clocking our periodic I can show the values of that so you can see what's coming out we can connect that into the panner And if you're listening in stereo, you'll hear we're now moving the sound around in space. Just turn it up a little so I can hear it. it up we can go back and manually control some of these things to get to an ending Okay, have fun making noise and uh, using some of these effects in the live coding toolkit and I'll see you in the next video.